three magic acts tonight. Now you can get to do something. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm sort of enjoying this. You'll have to forgive me though. I, I got a little bit of a rough throat here. There we go. All right, it's water. <laughs> oh, that's good water. Finale 
right now. We go, so I could keep doing this all day long, be incredible magic, but also incredibly boring. So we're going to do the big finale, right over left, left over right, just like I learned from a Portuguese sailor many years ago. Yes, I was on a voyage, and his name was Del Fuego. Tierra Del Fuego. <laughs> Only a few study geography. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, I really have been doing magic since about 1957 or 58. And the first thing that my mentor told me many years ago, that whatever you do with the rope trick, never, ever end up with a rope that has knots in it. So you end up with one long piece of rope. There's something you just don't see every day. And I thank you very much. Thompson, Harry Reiser ending for you keeping score. <laughs> okay. Now this next thing, um, there's a history. I've had this for over 50 years, and it actually was made originally in about 1920. And I got it from a magician in Vaudeville. And he said, I said, I'd love to have that thing. How much? He said, let me look it up in the catalog. And he charged me five dollars. <laughs> yeah, he knows what's coming. This is worth a lot more than five dollars these days. This is called a die box. This is one of the few that's exactly like this because it tells you the history of the die box. You see, the reason this came about was one side was for green tea, and this was a tea caddy, and one side was for black. And one day a gentleman was having a gambling game with his friends while his wife was away. All of a sudden, he had to get rid of the die because she suddenly appeared. He looked left and he looked right, and the only place he could find was was her tea caddy, and so he put it in the tea caddy. For some reason, she never found it, and ever since then, this has been called the die box. Now, there are two parts to this illusion. First off, the die, and now we need to find something incredibly hard to smash it up against to make sure... <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> now I'm going to do it to her. <laughs> no, sir, make sure that's a solid piece of wood. No trap doors, no smokes, no mirrors, nothing else. It is. What'd you feel that was soft? You're crazier than. It, it was soft. Give me that thing. <laughs> That's part number one. It's a solid piece of wood, though, right? Okay. Part number two is my hat. As you can see, my hat is empty. <laughs> As you can see, my hat is still empty. It's head empty, still empty. It may be even empty. Okay. Make sure it's an empty hat. Put your hat in there. Stop! No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right now, that die will have to be. Make it. 
Yes, it's right there. <laughs> but if it goes from side to side, it should be no trouble to go right from the top, right down to the bottom like that. But I won't do that because that's just showing off. <laughs> So, just for the doubter, and we know who he is, <laughs> we're going to turn it from a magic trick into an illusion into a guessing game. Sir, and you alone, top or bottom? <laughs> well, okay, really, you can't, you know. And if he had said both, guess what? <laughs> you would have been very surprised because I told you I was going to make it go invisibly to inside the <laughs> to inside the hat. And guess what? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> that is true. If you are a magician, uh, this is a Thayer die box. It was built in 1920, and I told Teller, a pen and Teller. I don't know what to do it with, but when I'm gone, he says, it's all right, you'll find some small kid who doesn't know what it is, and you'll sell it to him for five bucks. <laughs>